when I was born, my father was a, a layout engineer. Um, uh, you know, we had one car and lived in a studio apartment in, uh, in uh, Silver Spring. We are, depending on who you're asking, the largest or second largest concrete construction contractor in the United States. How would the Employee Free Choice Act affect our business? Wow. It is a potential killer of our company. If we were organized under EFCA, uh, what the effect on our on jobs and literally within this company would be, God help us if we're the first. If we're the first one to be uh, organized, uh, it's so competitive out there right now trying to get uh, work. Um, it's competitive always, but it's even hyper competitive now. I can't imagine how we would even price a job. The way we make our living is by being as efficient as possible in how we construct things. That is up to us, our decisions, and our, frankly our 62 years of experience building literally almost anything made out of concrete that you can think of. It's beyond arrogant to think that somehow there's some guy or group of people out there that can tell any business person who actually has all the stakes in this. I mean, it's my risk, it's our risk as a company. It's our, not just our livelihood, but our investment that's at stake. If that guy who comes in to impose something, he, what, what does he have in this game? Our employees uh, for these 62 years have chosen uh, not to join unions. Um, they have decided that the uh, pay and benefits uh, and, and the longevity of, uh, uh, that's available to them for working here is superior to that option. They don't like the idea of having to pay to go to work. The way the union retirement system works is in construction, they have something known as a multi-employer pension plan. A multi-employer pension plans are not really insured by the federal government. They are not backed by uh, the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation. Um, the pool of employers that are members of a multi-employer plan actually serve as the insurer of last resort in that case. Benefits that we currently provide, both uh, uh, 401k matching and, and profit sharing, uh, would disappear uh, under, uh, under that kind of scenario. We couldn't afford to have to pay into a massively underfunded pension plan and provide the 401k match and the full employer match profit sharing plan like we do. How many jobs would be lost if your company was organized under the Employee Free Choice Act? Other than all of them? 